Welcome to our lecture online. Another very interesting part of the atmosphere is the speed at which it moves at various heights above the surface of Venus. So what we have here is a what we call wind speed curve. To the right means it's moving faster, to the left means it's moving slower. When you go up that's height or elevation into the atmosphere and the numbers here are in kilometers above the surface of Venus. So it turns out that at the surface, as measured by the spacecraft that landed on the surface, we found that the speed of the atmosphere there is about 2.8 meters per second, which is not very fast, that's almost 10 feet per second, so it's moving relatively slow. But keeping in mind that the atmosphere is very dense near the surface, about 64 kilograms per cubic meter, which is an equivalent of about 4 pounds of atmosphere per cubic foot. Imagine standing on the surface of Venus, not recommended by the way because it's very very hot there, but if you could, the wind would probably move you or blow you over. It would be very difficult to stand there as the wind is blowing past you at 2.8 meters per second or nearly 10 feet per second because it would carry so much mass you would have to stand there really block yourself or it would just simply carry you with the wind. But it's not very fast. But as we go higher up into the atmosphere when we reach a height of about 40 kilometers there's a region there where the wind seems to be moving at about 30 meters per second. Now to get you kind of a feel, here 25 meters per second is equivalent to 90 kilometers per hour or 55 miles per hour. That's kind of like freeway speed for cars. So by the time you reach an elevation of about 40 kilometers, which is 25 miles up above the surface, winds are moving quite fast. But then, if you continue to go up and you reach a height of about 60 kilometers, roughly 40 miles up, then the wind speeds move at about 100 meters per second. Now 100 meters per second is 360 kilometers per hour or 220 miles per hour. That's even faster than bullet trains. But in other words, the wind is moving at enormous speed or the atmosphere. It's kind of like the jet streams on the earth but it seems to be much more across the surface into, into the atmosphere. Uh, over wider regions across the planet, which causes the atmosphere to circulate and circumvent the, the, uh, the planet about once every four days. So if you're at a height of about 60 kilometers, the atmosphere will go around the planet once every four days. We believe that is one of the reasons why it appears that the temperature is pretty well the same all the way around the planet on the day side or the night side because all that heat gets transferred with the atmosphere all the way around the planet which causes the heat not to stay in one place and so for example if it was nighttime for 100 200 days like it is on Venus then the atmosphere would certainly cool down over time it doesn't get a chance to do that because the circulation of the atmosphere at these very high speeds so that's part of the reason why it's about the same temperature all the way around the planet. Very surprising, uh, we don't have the reason why it does that. We can assume that a lot of that energy to drive the wind at those speeds probably come because of the enormous amount of heat that's within the atmosphere. We'll talk a little bit more about that. There's just an enormous amount of energy contained within the atmosphere which probably is the reason why we see those very high wind speeds. But at least that's what's going on in Venus. And if you want to take a balloon trip around Venus, Get to a height of about 60 kilometers and enjoy the ride. Only take you four days.